All right, guys, Leo here. I'm with Ninja again today. Um, today, I want to talk about psoas, psoas treatment. So, it's one of the deep hip flexors of the body. Typically, we treat it through the abdominal wall here, through the gut. Um, there is part of the psoas, though, that attaches onto the trochanter minor. So, it's an area that's a bit hard to get to. Uh, there are some nerves and arteries in the way, and we just have to be mindful about sort of bypassing those so we can get into that part of the psoas where it attaches onto. Um, and typically it's the attachments, as you know, Buddha says, is the source of suffering. So uh, we're gonna look to, to hit that iliopsoas tendon as close as we can to the lesser trochanter. Um, so what I wanna do first is just define where that kind of endangerment zone is. Um, and in order to do that, we wanna look at the femoral triangle. So kind of open up the leg into this kind of figure four here. And I'm gonna get Ninja to kind of Put some hip flexion into my hand here. Lift the foot up as well, Ninja. So you can see the sartorius muscle turning on here. That's one of the lateral borders of the femoral triangle. So we'll just drop that leg down. So I'll just make a note of that with my thumb. That's that outside edge of the triangle. Now I'll get Ninja to just push into my hand here medially. So that's the adductor longus that comes on here. And you can relax there. So I've kind of got this, this triangle here. But we've got to be mindful that there's some kind of key structures that come through here. One of them is the femoral nerve, which I'm just trying to get a, a reading for now. And I can really feel a pulse under my finger here. So that just gives away where that kind of main artery is. So I'm just going to go off laterally to that. I can feel the pulse subsiding. That means we're closer to the femoral nerve here. And just a bit more lateral to that, I'm gonna start sinking in here. So a bit higher and more lateral to my pressure is that ASIS, that's another line of guidance there, just where that sartorius comes off of. And so that is the access point to this lower portion of the psoas as it kind of comes out of the inguinal ligament distally into the body. So Yinj, how's, how's that one feeling there, mate? Yeah, it's quite comfortable, but it's still therapeutic at the same time. Sure. You know that you, something's changing, it's good, good pressure, didn't surprise me, it's nice and slow. There you go. So we seem to have made contact with it. I just want to confirm where I'm on right now. Um, so I'll get Ninja to just flex his hip and I'll assist in some hip flexion and just relax the leg again. Flex it up again for me, mate. Yeah, and I can feel a nice solid contraction underneath my thumb. So I'm gonna just hang out here and give the body some more time to receive as I just kind of extend my pressure towards the table. So what Ninja can also do now too is just, yeah, I guess be a bit intuitive about moving this hip around maybe. You might wanna come up into some hip flexion again and just challenge the pressure there. Even that is enough to really just switch the muscle on. Um, you can maybe drop the leg out wide, Ninja, or maybe come into some internal rotation, or just whatever feels necessary here. So again, I'm just a massage tool. It um, can give the client some free range on how to move this part of their body as they see fit. But yeah, as I was saying, it's often part like a, a missed out part of the treatment for the psoas. A lot of the time with psoas, as I said, we jump through the gut here, um, but there's, yeah, another part of the muscle that's able to be accessed here and um, close to that source of attachment as well, mate. So I guess I kind of often wonder what areas of the body we can't access, you know, um, that probably require a bit of cleaning from, from our, um, our treatment here as well, you know, so I guess we do look at changing the tissues, particularly the connective tissue on the fascia, but there's just so much in the body that we probably just don't get a chance to access because of the structures that are in the way, you know. Yeah. I guess the only way that we, we'd be able to do that would be to you know, cut, cut open the body and, and get some surgery happen, you know. Or maybe if they do that, we can come in with our purple shirts and, and, um, and do some manual therapy while, while, while they're getting operated on. But, um, Surgery without knives. Without knives, yeah. It's his tagline. Yeah. Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag that. How are we feeling in there, Ninja? Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, like we, always way you can access different things. Mm. 
and like you just got to innovate and just can move people around and probably seen some of our dynamic treatments we've done before we kind of the person can you know direct you to the spot as well for sure so, i think it just adds like a whole other dimension to this type of treatment is that dynamic that that mobilizing the the tissue structures as we pin them um, it's just a, another element of mobilization of the tissue, hydrating the tissue that happens with this other dimension of movement, you know. Um, and the good part about that is that the, the client, I mean, we can do it passively. So, for example, if it was quite challenging for the client to come to your collection, I'll just ask Marcus to relax his leg here. Just relax it a bit more. Yeah. And I can just bring it up passively. You're just still wanting to hold on here a little bit, mate. Yeah. See if you can just let it go with some breath, mate. So if you breath in, kind of just side that out, breath out. So sometimes this can be the case where I'm bringing the leg up passively or whatever body part, and there's still an element of um, facilitation of the muscle here by the client. Maybe a subconscious kind of hold here, maybe protection kind of mechanism. Um, so I can still feel that muscle turn on. So we just got to allow a little bit more time to integrate with the treatment. But um, yeah, if you guys haven't done any, had any dynamic work done, I mean, at this stage, if you haven't, then yeah, there's probably something wrong with our practitioners here, you know what I mean? So um, I'd encourage you, yeah, just to look to do more of it, you know, even in yourself, uh, do it yourself, treatment fixes as well. Just move that body around that massage tool and find find different spots, different angles that you can get into. So what I want to do here is just switch out my thumb because <laughs> my left thumb is actually redlining right now. So I got to give that one a break. Ninja, how are we doing in here, man? Mm -hmm. We're kind of back on that spot. Yeah. So let's try and just slide that heel down, Ninja, towards the end of the table, nice and slow. So yeah, feeling a nice sort of contraction here on the iliopsoas, and slide that heel back up. So again, guys, or any practitioners out here that are watching, if you do decide to treat this area of the body, again, just be mindful about the endangerment zone here with some of those superficial arteries and and that femoral nerve as well. You've got to sort of bypass that and make sure you're on this lateral aspect of that triangle. This is a small window where we can access that psoas or that iliopsoas tendon. In actual fact, I think, yeah, it's probably at a point there where both the psoas and the iliacus are actually join that common tendon. So, you know, two birds, one stone kind of thing. You're impacting the two heads of that muscle. I've had a bit of hip clicking near myself, which is where that muscle can, or that tendon can become tight. Flicks over the part of the pubic crest, I think, as the leg goes down. So this might be a little bit of a fix for it. I haven't sort of found out yet, but um, I'd be keen to give it a go on myself as well. So yeah, come in and get your psoas fixed, guys. This is literally the missing link to your typical psoas treatments. On your trigger point charts, there's one X here that shows that there is a spot that we can target, but it's not commonly found because of how hard it is, is to access. So probably the missing part of your psoas treatment that you need. All right, we'll sink out now. And we're done, come look in. Take care.